Hello, this is Jamie Lola Tallulah, and here's a tutorial for my mini Amagurumi bunnies. Okay, you will need a few things. You will need some baby yarn. Um, you can actually make it in any yarn you like. I have a very old Red Heart Baby Econo. It is a medium weight, but it's a baby weight yarn. Okay. Um, obviously anything bigger will make a larger animal. I am using an E crochet hook. You will need some stuffing and this is almost about as much as you need. A handful or two of stuffing. Fiber fill. You will need some stitch markers if you like to use stitch markers and I'll be using bobby pins. Two will be enough if you have them. Um, some scissors and a crochet needle for sewing in the ends. So, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna break this up into pieces. So we're gonna start with the head. If you are familiar with a magic circle, you can do a magic circle. Um, just for ease, I think, I'm going to just go ahead and do um, a chain. Okay, so I am going to start with a slip knot. You can start with a magic circle, either way. So wrap the short end around your finger, bring it to the front, then bring the loop off, put it down there, stick your hook down and under, and pull. Alright, so I'm going to start with my slip knot, and then I'm going to do a chain four. One, two, three, four. Then join in that first chain. I like to grab my tail, pull that through, and we're going to do a slip stitch. Okay? So you have a slip stitch. And there's the center of your ring. And it's in there that we are going to now do six single crochets. Then from here on out, it is um, a continuous spiral. We won't be working in rounds. Alright, so single crochet one, two crochets. Then that's when I like to take up my stitch marker and put it in the first stitch so that I have two of them done. So I can see what I'm doing. Hold on, let me take this off. Here. So now my stitch marker is in. I've got four more I need to do. So one. So that'll be three single crochets. Four. And I'm working over the tail. Five. And six. So I have six single crochets in my ring. Okay. Now I'm just going to pull this tail a little bit to snug it up. Mm -hmm. And then in my stitch where the stitch marker is, so right here in this stitch, I am now going to put two single crochets. Okay, So I'm going to remove my stitch marker. Get ready. Go into this stitch where my stitch marker was. Put it in there. Do a single crochet. Put my stitch marker back in. Do another single crochet into the same space and then continue around doing the same thing. So I'll be doing two single crochets here. One. So I have one in there. Then I need to do another one. 
two. Go to the next one. One, two. Next, one, two. Next one, one, two. Okay. So when I am done, I should have 12 stitches. So we go back and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So I now I need two more stitches. So we go here, put that in there. One and two. So this is what we have so far. Here I am at my stitch marker again. I want to take that out. And I'm going to do one single crochet into that stitch. One. Stitch marker back in place. And then in the next stitch I'm going to do two. One. Two. Now, I'm going to do that all the way around the circle. And how I like to say it for myself is I'll go one for the single crochet and then I'll go A, B so that I know I'm putting two stitches in one. So let me get some more yarn here. Okay, so I have to do my next stitch and I would say <laughs> I would go one in the next stitch, one there, and then I say to myself A. B. So that means I put two stitches in one. So I go one stitch and then you go two single crochets in the next one. One A then B. Do it again. One A B. One A B One A B Okay And you'll notice I'm back at my stitch marker And I should end on this row on an increase so now I'm back at my stitch marker, okay, which is right here, okay. So then I go on to my next row, which is a single crochet in each stitch. Stitch marker out. One, and then it's stitch marker back in. It's pretty much a really easy thing to do once you get started. So I'm going to put a single crochet all the way in each stitch and then I'll come back at the end right before we go. I'm at my last two stitches so I'm going to do one which would be 17 and 18. We're back at the stitch marker. We're going to take that out put one single crochet stitch marker back in and you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch around okay so after your third row of single crochets in each space you're going to have something that looks like this. 
it's curled. So I'm on the last stitch of that row. So I'm going to put the last single crochet in. I am back to my stitch marker. Right here. I'm going to take that stitch marker out. Do a single crochet in that stitch. Put it back in. Put it back in. Here. And now we want to decrease. So it's it's a really small piece, so you kind of have to, you know, kind of spread it out almost like it's flat and move it around. So I'm going to go in the very next stitch. I'm going to put my yarn on my hook in there, bring up a loop, oops, put my yarn in, bring up a loop, go to the next stitch. Put my yarn in, bring up a loop, so I should have three loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. So I've now done a decrease. In the next stitch, put a single crochet, so that will be my stitch here. Single crochet. And then do a decrease over the next two stitches. So insert your hook, yarn over, bring a hook, bring up a loop, two's on there. Put it in the next one, bring up a loop. Now I have three. Yarn over, pull through all three. So it would look like I'm trying to get it closer for you. That. Okay. Then you repeat it again. Put my stitch mark out the way. One single crochet. And then into the hook, uh, hole, yarn over, pull up a loop. Into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop. Then you have three. Single crochet. Spread it open a little more into the hook, pull up a loop, I keep saying into the hook, into the stitch, <laughs> pull up a loop, and then through all three, repeat, single crochet, and then a single crochet decrease. So I have three on the hook, pull it straight through. Okay, single crochet, And then I should have two stitches left. So then I put it through, pull up one, pull it through, and I end on my decrease. Okay. Then we are going to do the next round. Okay. So we we'll take out our stitch marker. And move on up to the next row. Alright, so ready for the last row. And we're going to decrease over two stitches. So we finished last row, took out our stitch marker. We're going to put our yarn, our hook through, pull up a loop, go to the next stitch, put our hook through, pull up a loop, and we have three. Okay. I'm going to put my marker back in. And you'll notice that the stitches stretch out. They become longer. So it's kind of, you got to kind of look to see where they are. So you go to the next one, which is here. Do the same thing. A good single crochet decrease. So your hook in, yarn over, hook in yarn over. There's three on the hook. And pull it through. Do another one. And it's really getting tight now so you have to finagle it. So then move to the next stitch. There's two on then pull through. And you'll notice I kind of pinch it and move it around. 
and it just makes it easier to see your stitches I think instead of trying to work this way if you kind of pinch it and move it around every two stitches so it's kind of like here's the stitches you're working in and then you can hold on to this area down here to make it easier to do so we do it again put your hook in pull up a loop hook in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three then like See how I'm kind of squishing it and moving it over to get it where I need to go. Um, do it again. Okay. Then you have to move it a little bit more. Okay. And you should be on your last two stitches. Boom. Boom. Do it again. Insert pull up, insert, pull up, and yarn over. And then you have a little pocket <laughs> for your head. You have a little pocket for your head. You can go ahead and take out that stitch marker now because you're basically done with your head. I like to go ahead and move this over just a little bit. See what I'm doing. And this was the stitch that my stitch marker was in. I'm just going to go ahead and put my hook in there and I'm going to do a slip stitch just so I can bring that down level. Pull up your last loop a little bit and you want to make sure you cut a big enough tail so that you can work in and weave it as well as close it up. So I like to leave extra tail. If you watch my other video um, I just like to make sure I have extra. So then you have your hoop, take your tail, pull it through there uh-huh and pull tight the next thing you will want to do is you'll want to turn it and it becomes a little a little bit tricky because it's such a small piece but just take your time and turn your piece inside out 